Hey there, it's me Josh. Welcome to Storytime, or welcome back. Thank you so much for being here and reading this story today. Super excited, we're gonna be reading Mr. Cool. I wonder what this is gonna be about. I wonder how cool Mr. Cool is. I wonder what messages and things we're gonna learn from this book today. What kind of adventures and things we can imagine and, and what sort of stories it's gonna, gonna flow from this one today. All right, if you like these, please subscribe, click that bell below, and then you can visit the page and read any and all of the stories that are on here. I love reading books, so don't worry. There's gonna be plenty more to come for a long time. Okay, Mr. Cool, get comfortable, get ready wherever you are, because we're about to delve into story time. That's right. Poor Jack Robinson wasn't feeling very well. He'd been in bed for days, and he had to stay in bed until he was better. I'm bored, he huffed. I wish I could go outside and play with my friends. Jeez, it doesn't look too, too well, that poor fellow. Suddenly a blue blur shot in through the open window. It looped the loop around the light in the ceiling and a small blue figure wearing a hat landed on the end of Jack's bed. That is Mr. Cool. Cool, said Jack. That's me, Mr. Cool, said Mr. Cool. Cool, repeated Jack. <laughs> awesome. You look a bit bored, said Mr. Cool. I thought we could go and have some fun. I wish I could, said Jack, but I'm not allowed out of bed. I think we could make an exception just this once, said Mr. Cool. And he clicked his fingers. The next instant, the next instant, there's a better way to pronounce that. Jack found himself sitting in the cockpit of a jet aeroplane. Why don't you take it out for a spin? Suggested Mr. Cool. What? Can I really fly it? Said Jack. Sure you can, said Mr. Cool. It's easy. <laughs> so Jack flew the jet plane out across the Atlantic Ocean and back. Flying there. That was cool, cried Jack when they were back on the ground. Thanks, Mr. Cool. We haven't finished yet, said Mr. Cool. And he clicked his fingers again. Jack heard a crowd roar. He was at a football ground, but he wasn't sitting in the crowd. He was on the bench with the other players. And he was even wearing the team strip. Whoa, super cool. Oh, because of Mr. Cool. <laughs> Quick, said Mr. Cool. The manager wants you to go on. He wants me to play, said Jack, incredulously. But they're Capital United. Wow. Wow, and you never guess what? Jack scored the winning goal. Whoa, that was so cool, said Jack. As Jack walked off the pitch, Mr. Cool clicked his fingers and whisked them away to climb the tallest tree in the world. He clicked his fingers again, and before you could say Jack Robinson, look at how high they are up in that tree. Whoa, enormous, gigantic tree. They were standing on top of a mountain. Where, where are we? Wow, wow, wow. I can, I can say where are we. Like, that's a, I can't ask that question, I can't say that. <laughs> The tongue twister just, where are we? Jumbled up my words. Where are we, called Jack, over the noise of the wind. Mount Everest, said Mr. Cool. How cool. What are we doing here, shouted Jack. Sledging, said Mr. Cool. Let's go. So they're on top of Mount Everest. Getting on sledges. Well, that would be quite, quite the sledge. Jack and Mr. Cool slid from the very top to the very bottom of Mount Everest. I'm going to be flying down the mountain there. We're going very, very, very fast. That was the coolest thing ever, cried Jack. It was more like the c c coldest, stuttered Mr. Cool. For the final time that day, Mr. Cool clicked his fingers. Mr. Cool shivering there. More like the c coldest. 
In an instant, Jack found himself back in his bedroom. Thank you so much, Mr. Cool, said Jack. That was... Amazing, laughed Mr. Cool. Well, I'll be off, said Mr. Cool. But there's one more thing, Jack. Have a look in the mirror. With this, Mr. Cool shot out through the open window. Jack went into the bathroom and looked in the mirror. Cool, <laughs> said Jack when he saw himself. And why do you think Jack was so pleased? That's right. All his spots has gone, had gone. Jack was better. I wonder on which page did Jack get better? Let's actually go back and have a look. So, it is. So if you look, they're on the top of Mount Everest. Mr. Cool's like, phew. Boom, on the top of Mount Everest, you can see he still has some spots on his face. And they go down the mountain. And then there's none there. All better now. Well, that's Mr. Cool done. Thank you so much for reading the story with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again with another story really, really, really soon. If you like these, please subscribe. Click that bell below. And uh, I might just uh, go and uh, get my cool on. I'll just... Do some Mr. Cool stuff. How about that? I don't know. Feeling pretty cool now for that story about Mr. Cool. You're, you're probably looking at me like, Josh, you're not that cool, man. <laughs> All right. Bye for now. Not forever. See you soon.